bow. Mm. Hey, what's up, everybody? So, uh, pretty burnt on burpees. Did a bunch of burpees a bunch of days in a row. Uh, I think it's time for another uh, routine to really focus on things I'm not very good at. So, we're going to do uh, pull ups, dips, weighted squats. You can't see the concrete bag, it's right there. You'll see it in a little bit. I'm going to do uh, five. 10 and 10, Not, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, um, want to just maybe just knock out, say something like five rounds right now, something like that, just to get a, just to get a good, a good burn in today, but I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it, anyways, five pull-ups, 10 dips, 10 weighted squats, let's we'll see if we can get five rounds out in a reasonable amount of time, something like that. See if I can even do five pull-ups right now. Five pull-ups. All right. A little bit of a hold, a little bit of a negative. Yeah, I got the good old polyester work pants on. Another reason I didn't want to do any burpees today. Jeez. Okay, dip station. Try to do my dips. Uh, maybe just say to, uh, to flat to 90 right now. Don't want to get too far into doing those Jad Cat the Magnificent super deep dips. Let's see if I can do 10. Five. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> ten, ten on the dips might have been pushing it. Five rounds of that? I don't know. I do not know. Five rounds of sixty pound weighted squats, I don't know either. 27.2 kilograms. We all remember that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> so much for taking it easy. Should have done five, five, and five if I wanted to take it easy. <sighs> I keep keep, uh, keep trying to do uh, pull ups. Figure when I start to hit failure on pull-ups, I'll switch to chins. Uh, yeah, if I hit failure on those, I'll do shrugs. I don't know. Good times. Good times. Mm. 
<laughs> we did one round. And then we're on round two. You know, uh, practicing my muscle ups. Ugh. How does one practice an explosive pull up? I mean, you're just pulling with all you got, trying to make it explosive, or is there a separate technique? I know, I know I'm not doing any wide grips explosively. But I feel like I'm getting up pretty good. I guess just keep doing it the way I'm doing it. Trying to make it explosive. Pulling straight up. And when I go down to practice on the bar, add the swing in, the angle, the momentum, blah, blah, blah. Oh, 10 dips. Good Lord. Should have stuck with five. <laughs> Cooly dooly, 10 dips. Good Lord. Gotta stick to what I said though. I'm already sweat good. Had a late lunch too, that's another reason I didn't want to do burpees. Probably be narfing pizza on the floor already. Dips don't hurt my collarbone as much e anymore either. I think there's maybe some connecting muscle that was real weak when I started doing dips and it hurt. It was like Gus said, <laughs> gains. Had to make those collarbone gains. Then that shit stopped hurting. <clears throat> Station is a good place to relax. That was two. That was two. Get back to the bar. Hang out in the corner. There's a part of me that thinks some resistance bands will be cool, especially to help me with my muscle ups, but <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but shit costs money. Shit costs money.
one more. One more, baby. Trying to remember how many rounds that uh, that Game Bros workout I did was that was uh, the uh, the barbell uh, burpees with the the curls and pull ups and dips and weighted squats because I did that workout like. I don't know, maybe a month ago, maybe a little bit more, and I think it was five rounds, I'm not sure, I don't remember, all I know is I couldn't finish the pull-ups, I had to do shrugs and switch the chins or whatever, um, but I just got through three rounds of the pull-ups, right now, I feel alright, making some progress. These 10 dips, though, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know, my friends. Now it's starting to hurt in the collarbone. <laughs> Tenses all these neck muscles up. You know, it's interesting, especially on pulls. Like I was watching, uh, uh, Chris Shawarma do that awesome uh, tutorial on uh, slow uh, ring muscle up. And he was talking about tensing different parts of the body throughout, you know, the transition and through different movements. And uh, I've been trying to tense my body up when I'm doing pull-ups. I think, I think it's helping, but it trips me out. Because all my old martial arts teachers, especially like kooky, esoteric kung fu teachers, would always be like, you got to relax everything and focus only on using the muscles that you're using. Like when you're trying to open, when you're trying to open a jar of pickles or a jar of kraut or something, and that shit does not want to come off, and you tense your whole body. For me personally. When I have to do that, I find I always get that sucker off when I relax everything except my arms, my grip and my arms. But I don't tense up my chest, don't tense up any other part of my body, just try to relax everything and pop it off. Anyways, I don't really have a point, it's just that I find it interesting that you hear like doing pull-ups and stuff and a lot of these other exercises tense everything up. Weird to me. Oh boy, stolen! Oh. Oh, ten. Ten squats, and that'll be round three. We're well over halfway there once we're done with this. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got it. 
the sweat going. Let's see where we're at. How slow am I? Oh, I'm hell slow. I always feel like I'm doing shit too slow. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I love this busy dad program. This busy dad program got me into doing burpees. I wouldn't be where I am right now without busy without the busy dad program. Sometimes I wonder if it though that makes me uh think everything is a competition with myself. And I'm sure that's a good thing, I'm sure. But I think there's times when I don't need to uh, attack myself so vigorously. Or I just need to be happy with the work that's getting put in and not the amount of time that it takes. Normal grip. I've been normal gripping forever. Everything is false grip. Man, I'm proud of that. Really proud of that. Ten dips. If I can keep them unbroken, I'm going by Mel Training Day Network. Watch the video of him doing a hell of a uh, dip ladder. He said, as long as you stay on the bar, it's unbroken. So, all right, let's see if I can get 10 more unbroken. Two more. <clears throat> really focus on that breathing. Sweaty Betty. Oh yeah, the week of Free the Pecs is done. I got a shirt on. But I will say, it did liberate me. I'm sure y'all see my, my chicken pecs again. I know you'll be waiting for it. Uh, 27.2 kilograms, aka 60 lubes, <clears throat> 10 squats, I'll wrap up round four. <sighs> One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy.
10. Round four. Only one more round to go. I'm gonna take a rest at the dip station. I'm looking forward to uh, checking my dips out from this side angle. Last time I did dips, it was a shit angle. Uh, one of the reasons I like doing, I like making these videos is so I can just check my form, watch the tape, man. Like a coach, gotta watch the tape, critique myself, improve that form. So this will be the first real good chance I've had to uh, critique my dips. Breathing in the heart rate, just a little bit more out, down. Five more pull-ups. Didn't even have to go to chin-ups so far. And this is the last set of five right here. So, that is an improvement over, over the last time. Pretty damn sure. set. False grip. <laughs> Last one. Come on, buddy. Last one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy about that. I felt those were pretty strong for me. Homemade electrolyte water. No sugar, but the sugar that is in cranberry juice. And not like that ocean spray shit where they water it down and add a bunch of sugar. Like that good condensed shit that if you try to sip that stuff straight, it'll suck your fucking tongue back in your mouth. Your cheeks, you'll choke on your own cheeks. Shit's so sour. Okay, last set of 10 dips. Last set of 10 dips. You will choke on your own cheeks. Okay, take that, take a, a tea bag, a ginger tea bag, and a turmeric tea bag. 
because they say that turmeric is good for your joints. I had bad joint problems back when I used to do concrete. Um, but when we moved and I took a year off working, I took care of that stuff. I was taking these curcumin, these turmeric shoes. I've been drinking turmeric tea for a long time. I had like bad tennis elbow or whatever. That shit's gone. Um, so yeah, got the, the uh, plain cranberry. Not a lot of it, just like that much in the bottom. Uh, ginger tea bag, turmeric tea bag. Got this magnesium powder. That's like fizzy. Um, vitamin C powder, just sorbic acid. Uh, some uh, Himalayan sea salt. Pinch of that. Sometimes I'll put some some molasses in there. Some moles asses. Uh, but not today. Not today. It's a good brew. That'll keep you uh, keep you electrolyted without having to spend money on Gatorade or some stupid shit that's got sugar in it. And you're just gonna put money in some corporation that can give a shit about you. Put money in their pocket. <sighs> 10 squats. 27.2 kilograms. Kilograms. 60 pounds. Here we go. <sighs> One. Two. Three. Four. <sighs> five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Five rounds of things I suck at. Woo. Recap. One round. Five pull-ups, 10 dips, 10 weighted squats, five rounds, 25 pull-ups, 50 dips, 50 squats with 60 pounds. Pretty soon, pretty soon, I'm going to have to make pull-ups harder or something. I keep do doing these workouts, the things that I suck at, I'm going to suck less at them. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll always suck at them to some extent. Someone's always better. And that's fine. I just want to be the best I can be. And right now, I'm going to gloat on those pull-ups a little bit. Because I feel like, I feel like I just did five rounds of five. And I didn't even have to do any chins or nothing. Let's celebrate actually doing some chins. My biceps are like, what's up, bro? I thought we were going to get some work. One more. That's enough out of me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great week.